I lived out my coming of age movie dream my senior year. Hi darlings, my name is Danielle and welcome to, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a what I wish I knew before senior year video. I did one last year for junior year and then I also did just an advice video for high school. So if you want to check those out, check out my back to school playlist that I will put in the cards. I was a class of 2023 senior and I am now going into my freshman year at the University of Texas at Austin. Look them horns. I absolutely loved my senior year and it was so special to me so i'm just hoping to help you guys out so you guys are prepared and ready for your senior year. first thing i'm going to talk about is academics obviously the reason that you are at school school still matters your senior year i did not try as hard my senior year if i'm being completely honest i had a lot easier classes i was at school for maybe three hours a day and i just didn't try as hard and i kind of wish i did my grades didn't slip or anything i definitely could have tried a little bit harder and gotten better grades so i'll just say school still matters like you are still in school so just keep that in mind and don't get too off track because a lot of people do tend to just kind of fall off their senior year and it's so easy to so try really hard to just like focus on school because it still matters try hard your first semester because colleges still look at that so try hard your first semester especially if you are applying early action or early decision try to make sure you're doing good like i said some people fall off senior years so like you could like bump up you could get better grades you can be looking at better standing so just try hard at least your first semester and your second semester it's much harder your second semester don't skip classes or at least don't start skipping classes super early i never skipped class because at my school for us to be exempt from our finals you had to be in class a certain amount so i never skipped class unless it was like for a school event but i know a lot of friends who did skip or just um went to different schools and skipped class because like attendance didn't matter don't skip your classes too early because like you could become a truant like you could actually have to come to for saturday school second semester though i completely understand it because it actually there's nothing pushing you to go to school especially if you know what college you're going to but try not to skip classes now i'm going to talk about college first thing i would say is to apply early i applied early action to every school i applied to and it was so great because i was done with all my applications but i want to say like december 1st it makes your life a lot easier if you haven't already started on your applications start them now it really will take a whole weight off of your shoulders if you're not worried about your college applications all through your senior year i know the first deadline is november 1st for most schools and then december 1st just apply by then i didn't apply regular decision to any school i applied to i was bumped back to regular decision from an early Early action but like that was the only thing that made me wait a little bit longer as well it's nicer because you have to find out earlier and early action is not binding so you can find out earlier and still wait until may 1st to decide look at your first choice college and your second choice college and look at the classes you're taking and the ap classes that you're taking if you're taking ap classes something that i didn't do but i wish i did because i was so set on my first choice college and i didn't get in and so i ended up going to my second choice college which is a state school for me i'd assume that all of my ap scores had given me credit but that actually wasn't the case because i was a business major certain ap exams needed higher grades than what i expected and so i ended up not getting the credit and also certain credits and ap exams didn't roll over because i was a business student and i had to take certain classes at my university before you choose classes or at the beginning of the school year if you can still like switch into classes look at your first choice college and your second choice college even though you haven't gone in because it would make your life a lot easier and then you won't be in the same boat that i am because now i'm taking calculus which i had to take at my university but i wish i had calculus in high school because now i feel so unprepared and not ready for it in college so look at your colleges and your courses for senior year and think about those two things next i'm going to talk about friendships and relationships my number one thing for friendships and relationships senior year is to expect the unexpected a lot of my friendships stayed the same but also like certain friends i got closer to that i didn't expect to certain friends i didn't become closer to or like we grew apart but we're still friends and stuff like that just expect the unexpected but also like with relationships as well like you never know what's gonna happen so just be open to new things and changes even though it's your last year like i did date to homecoming and prom my senior year and like i had always wanted that but i never like thought that I, that was gonna happen for me and like it did so a lot of things i got to accomplish my senior year i lived out my coming of age movie dream my senior year i didn't think that that was going to happen expect the unexpected because you truly don't know what could happen especially in the friends and relationships and like social aspects of life like just go with the flow spend time with your friends and your family your family is so important and you are going to miss them so much 
when you leave for college i'm actually so sad about leaving because like i don't want to leave like my mom and like my brother my sister and like my dad like i don't want to leave my family i don't want to leave like my house like a lot of changes are going to be happening in the next year so enjoy the time you have now with your family because you're never going to get time like this again like once you move out into college you will never really live in your house the way that you do now so just enjoy it enjoy it so much hang out with your friends in very chill and kind of like unplanned spontaneous ways like obviously that has to come you know with going with the flow as well well some of my favorite times that I got to hang out with our friends was just like us like driving places or we carpooled and then we ended up sitting in my car and talking for a super long time or just going over to a friend's house on a Friday night and just hanging out and like watching a movie and eating dinner together. It's very, very fun to still like just hang out at someone's house and like have a movie night or just chill. So just enjoy your time with your friends and family. Also, I would say to support your friends. And that I really enjoyed this year was just like going out and like supporting your friends. So whether that be like, hey, your friend's a cheerleader, like go to the football game or to, like go to their cheer competition or if your friend plays basketball, like go to the basketball games like do those things like go and support your friends in their like endeavors and in their clubs and all the things that they do because you might not be able to do that once you go off to college don't stress too much because you'll be gone in a year and also be realistic and i think that goes really well with both friendships and relationships with not stressing too much it's just like if you lose a friend or if there's an issue with the friend or something changes like don't stress too much about that relationship because in a year it won't matter you know so don't stress out too much if things are going wrong if your friendships aren't going the way you want it to because in a year it's not really going to matter be realistic especially in relationships if you are going into your senior year and you start a relationship in senior year be realistic that may not continue after this year that may not continue after that summer because you might be going to different schools you might be having different you know post-grad um, plans you might want to do certain things that your partner might not want to so just be realistic if you're going into a relationship or if you're in a relationship I know for me personally I always said I would never go to college with a high school boyfriend so I knew like my senior year I wasn't going to be dating anybody because it didn't make sense to me to start a relationship when I knew it was going to end in a couple of months so just be realistic and be realistic about what you truly want like if you know for sure that you don't want to do long distance don't get into a relationship like it just doesn't really make sense or end that relationship before you guys have to do that because it's going to hurt both of you in the end if you guys aren't realistic and just honest with each other. I'm going to talk about the high school experience which I will be saying without saying because I don't want this video to get shadow banned but just like when you watch a coming of age movie a teen movie set in high school like that experience that you're thinking of when you think of high school the experience and the things that people do at certain parties and events and stuff all those types of things you need to be safe you need to be smart and you need to think about your future whether you are indulging in certain things whether you are not indulging in certain things always remember to be safe always remember to be smart always remember to think about your future because you truly never know even if you're with people that you trust things could go wrong and you need to be prepared that's all i would say in that sense if you get it again if you don't don't do everything just in the social aspects of high school like go to the football games join the clubs if you want to like this is truly your last year to do it do it honestly i went to a basketball game for the first time this year in my high school career and i absolutely loved it and i went to more i wouldn't have known that and i wouldn't have known that i loved basketball if it wasn't for that just do the things maybe you've always wanted to do but never did or things that you've always them continue to do them or maybe change them up like I always go to book football games but I started going to away football games this year because I wanted to enjoy every single moment do everything and also enjoy the little moments in the mundane in the tiny things your little routine I really realized towards the end of high school like I was really going to miss like those little things meeting up with friends in the hallway to talk or you know, walking past a certain friend in the hallway every time you're going to a certain class just a little mundane thing that you always do in high school you're not gonna get again just enjoy it while it lasts like oh my gosh enjoy it don't stress too much about the future though like don't stress too much about senior year things aren't going the way you want them to it's okay if you don't get into your dream school it is okay i am living proof of that i did not get into my dream school and i'm doing fine i'm actually so excited to go to the school that i'm going to and i truly truly believe you end up where you're meant to be like what is meant to be will be so don't stress too much about high school because it will all work out in the end and post-grad life will be super great wherever you end up these aren't things you have to do but just things i thought would be fun and some things that i did that i think made my senior year extra special i made a playlist of songs that encapsulated the feelings of senior year to me I included songs like rivers and roads graduation like the song there's a song that's called graduation the kids is it the kids the mac miller song like all those sorts of songs but then more that i just thought like really encapsulated senior year and the feelings of being a senior and realizing that 
your future is like right in front of you and all the change that is going to come and I really really love that playlist because whenever I was feeling kind of like emotional I was like really seriously thinking about senior year and all of the changes and all of the stuff that was going on I always listen to that playlist and it always put me not in like a sadder mood but like it put me in a good mood because it always kind of just reminded me like there's so much more to come and it's gonna be so exciting I will link my playlist down below if you guys want to get some inspiration but I definitely recommend like making your own playlist because it will mean so much to you in like a couple years I'm sure I mean I've even listened to my playlist again recently and just been like oh my gosh because it's so special and I started it like right after my junior year ended and I was adding songs to it up until like right before I graduated so I would recommend doing that if you would like to uh, also if you guys have a class song for your school add that to that playlist our class song was where all the time go and so like listening to that song also just makes me like super like all sad but like happy about my senior year something that I definitely definitely recommend is have a specific way of remembering and kind of like documenting your senior year it's obviously not something you have to do but I think it's honestly really special to have I know for me like obviously I have my YouTube channel and so a lot of like those special little moments of senior year or big big moments of senior year I vlogged a lot of them or I filmed a lot of them like my prom my graduation grad party season just like regular days like vlogs my days these vlogs mean so much to me because I literally have documentation of what my senior year was like what I was doing what I look like what the day-to-day -day looked like in these big moments of senior year that means so much to me and I think that that is something that everyone deserves to have so whether that be that you are filming and you don't have to post it on YouTube but just having it for yourself maybe getting a film camera and like taking film pictures your whole senior year so you can remember it or even a scrapbook one of my close friends did a scrapbook and it was literally the cutest thing ever she also was able to put that out at her grad party and we all got to like look through it and it actually made me so happy but also so emotional because it showed like our whole entire senior year and so I think it's really nice to have something that's very special that will remind you of senior year because it is a really fun year and you guys are gonna have great senior years I want to say lastly thank you so much for watching but also congratulations on making it this far you've literally made it to the end of your primary beginning education or maybe your end of the education for you you might not be going to college or university or trade school or anything so this might be the end of education for you and congratulations on that because you have actually made it this far keep on going it is going to be an amazing year i hope you have all the best i'm wishing all the luck to class of 24 because that's when i'm making this but also if you're class of 25 26 or 27 congratulations and good luck because senior year is truly the best year and it's gonna be full of so many memories. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like this video, comment down below any questions or anything that you guys wanna say and I will respond. And subscribe as well for more content. This is actually my last high school related video ever, which is kind of crazy, but on to all the college content. So if you guys want college content and other stuff like film and television, all the things I normally talk about on this channel, hit the subscribe button so you are up to date and can see all that. So I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys have an amazing day and best of luck to all of you seniors. Bye!